Won the Rookie of the Year award. You made your first All-Star team a year ago. Now people around the league are talking about you taking the next jump to becoming a top 10 player in the league. I know you've never been one to back away from a challenge. What kind of expectations do you set for yourself individually going into year three? It's high. The way I look at it, within myself, why not? Why can't I be the MVP of the league? Why can't I be the best player in the league? Derrick Rose was crowned the NBA's youngest MVP 12 years ago, and with that, he's received a ton of backlash from the media and NBA fandom. People are saying he doesn't deserve it, people say his stats weren't as impressive as an MVP stats should be, and people say that LeBron or Dwight was robbed. Needless to say, Derrick Rose deserved it. However, he does not deserve the backlash that he received and still does receive to this day. Before we get into this video, guys, I want want to say thank you so much for the support recently on the channel we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers and we are uploading every single day for the month of December so if you're new here please be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button without further ado let's waste no more time and get straight into this video for starters, let's talk regular season progression and the achievements because yes, this is a regular season award. People tend to forget that when talking about the MVP. We'll be comparing Derek to the likes of Dwight Howard and LeBron James because that's who finished second and third in NBA MVP voting that season. Now quickly, I'd like to note that it's funny that people swear on their life that LeBron deserved this award when he didn't even play second in NBA MVP voting. But that's neither here nor there. Derek and the Chicago Bulls were the number one seed in the Eastern Conference that was tremendously talented with the likes of the Heat, the Celtics, the Magic, and many other great teams. Derek Rose led the very injured Chicago Bulls to a 62 and 20 record, which was the first 60 win season in Bulls history. Since Michael Jordan and the 98 Chicago Bulls who won a NBA championship, they also ironically had a 62 and 20 record. Comparing the rosters side by side in the amount of games each player on the roster played. It's easy to say that Derrick Rose didn't have equal help or star power that the Miami Heat did. For the Magic, you could argue that they were similar makeups. I'm not gonna sit here and dismiss the fact that Jakeem Noah was a sensational defensive talent, or the fact that Luau Dang was very talented 3 and D player who was instrumental in the bull success as he played all 82 games that season, alongside Carlos Boozer who was very, very impressive, but he was unhealthy as before the season even started, he was their biggest free agent acquisition that season, and he broke his hand during training camp because he quote unquote tripped over a bag we don't have to dive into that but if you look at the amount of games that players missed compared to the Miami Heat stars or the second or third options or whatever you want to call them. Jakeem and Boozer missed a combined 57 games that season, while Wade, Bosch, and Braun combined missed only 13 games. While this isn't LeBron or the Miami Heat's fault that the Bulls were unhealthy and that the Heat stayed healthy, you must remember that the MVP is a narrative-driven award. Derrick Rose winning 62 games with a 40-year-old Kurt Thomas who averaged four points and six rebounds as you're in center for the entire year. He played 57 games and started nearly 40 games that season. That is absolutely absurd. And when you factor in that the season matchups, the Bulls swept the Miami Heat, beating them three times and losing none. And they also swept the Orlando Magic that season. This is very, very great from the narrative in his case for the MVP. Oftentimes people like to complain and nag and say that Derrick Rose is not an MVP because he has the poor stats, because he's not, you know, as great. LeBron stats were better, this, that, and the other. The first thing I'd like to note is that the NBA's pace has grown tremendously since 2011. In 2011, the Orlando Magic led the NBA in three-point attempts per game with just over 25. This season Season, the Boston Celtics attempted nearly 40, while the Lakers who shoot the least attempts of three-pointers a night, they shoot just around 30 a game, which would make them the team that attempted the most three-pointers by five three-pointers during the 2011 season, and it would actually make this Lakers team this year the team with the most attempts per game all the way up until 2014, so three whole years later when James Harden and the Rockets started to attempt 31 three-pointers a night. I'd also like to draw your attention the fact that this season's top scoring team in the NBA is the Indiana Pacers and they average just shy of 130 points. 
points per game. While in 2011, the Chicago Bulls averaged just shy of 100. With Derrick Rose's stat line of 25 points per game and almost eight assists a night, that means he was responsible for a minimum of 39 points a night. And that would be if all of his assists were just two pointers and not three pointers. 39 points is just short of 40% of the points scored for the Chicago Bulls a night in 2011. And if you don't think his stats outside of the pace are that impressive, let's just compare them to previous MVPs or a previous two-time MVP, Steve Nash, who hardly receives any flack. Steve played less games than Derrick Rose. He averaged less points and less rebounds and played arguably worse defense, but nobody talks poorly about his situation or his winning because of the fact that what he did for the Suns was great for the narrative. I don't understand why Derrick Rose doesn't receive the same love as he seemingly turned the Chicago Bulls around just like Steve Nash turned that Phoenix Suns team around. And finally, let's just talk about the fact that LeBron James and many other people in the league said himself that Derrick Rose deserved the MVP. Quote, I think it's Derrick Rose. What he's done for the team with all the injuries they have and them being first in the Eastern Conference, they're playing some really good basketball. I don't understand how people can hear the man they're trying to put on a pedestal say, hey, this guy's the MVP, I'm not the MVP this is the end of the conversation. I don't understand how you can hear that and then still try to make a case for said person. I understand some LeBron fans or other various NBA fans will say that LeBron was just being a nice guy and doing the right thing, quote unquote. But regardless, Derrick Rose, what he did for that team was absolutely unremarkable. It was absolutely unattainable. A lot of people just like to compare Derrick Rose to Russell Westbrook, but if you compare their success, it's literally night and day. While Russell Westbrook boasted much much more impressive stats, I'm not here to deny that. Russell Westbrook barely got that team to 40 some wins while Derrick was a 60 win team. Derrick Rose brought that team all the way to six games in the Eastern Conference Final against the big three Miami Heat who were eventual champions while Russell Westbrook was nearly swept in the first round of his playoffs. But yet here we are comparing it, saying that Russell Westbrook deserved his MVP and it's not even close because he made history and he averaged a triple double. Yes, I understand that's insane however it's also insane to discredit and discard everything that derrick rose did for the chicago bulls that year he absolutely changed the way that the game was played for this chicago bulls team and honestly gave a lot of hope to the city of chicago i see a lot of people say he doesn't deserve the mvp because his drop off in the future seasons with his injuries but we're talking about one year guys we're not talking about the future and who's to say that he would have fallen off without the injuries this is all stuff that we're trying to predict and it's just not fair but what do you guys think do you think derrick rose deserved the mvp that season do you think i'm just you know making all this up let me know in the comments below if you made it this far i appreciate your support as always hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay happy health and blessed peace